Before we get into the battle, people, you need to make sure you've got enough energy to watch this. And what do I mean by that? Get yourself some G Fuel using code SALT for 30% off. My favorite flavors are dragon fruit and peach iced tea. There's a bunch of other flavors you want to try. You can get starter kits, you can get tubs, a whole bunch of different ranges there for your energy and caffeine needs or non-caffeine needs. Link in the description of the video, people. Come and check out G Fuel with code SALT. If you miss the salt, it's not my fault. What to you? For today's video, we have a Slaking Sweep. Slaking is a really good Pokemon, but it has a horrendous ability being Truant. Then I thought to myself, well, what happens if you gave it pure power? Like, how much damage would it actually do? I'll be very, very interested to see that. Now, this is an undercover Pip Knight and a continuation from the whole Ultra Panda arc. Firstly, we beat them with a Magic Art, right? Then we beat them with a Shiny Unknown L, right? They took the L. Now, this is going to be the, uh, I guess you could say, the trilogy, the final trilogy of this arc, and I really hope you enjoy. Make sure you've checked out both these videos before you watch this. It might add a little bit of extra context to actually what is going on. There's a fair bit of soul in this battle, people, so make sure you watch it the whole way through, as always, and let's get into it. So this is our little starting screen here. This is going to be a doubles battle. They asked to do a doubles battle, as well as a whole sleuth of other, like, crazy rules and... Uh, we got a Gengar and Xbound lead here, which is going to be interesting. So my first two Pokemon are going to be my Smeagol and my Medicham. Good to see Medicham used again. Also, uh, Code Salt is 30% off at the moment. I can't remember if I did a little uh, thing at the start of this video, but make sure if you're a G Fuel user, you can use that Code Salt. Get that juicy 30% off. Okay, uh, we got an uh, interesting strategy here. We got my Medicham which is going to be a fake out user and it's got the ability pure power that's really all i need it for i've got this role play skill swap sporing smeagle now at this stage i really want to go role play to copy the medicham's ability but at this stage is a fair couple of risks on the field so what i'm going to do is go for the fake out on the x cloud i'm going to flinch that so it can't attack this turn and i'm going to get hit by a shadow ball this gengar is very very dangerous so i need to actually put it to sleep so I can uh, actually start doing something. So uh, the Smeagol's going to go for a Spore here, and that's going to put Gengar to sleep. So now I can kind of implement my strategy. So all that Medicham's usefulness on the field is, is just his ability, right? That's all I really want it for. So I thought, hey, well, I've got Quick Gun, I've got Recover. Uh, Baton Pass is just there to swap me into another Pokemon. I don't, it's just a dry Baton Pass. That's pretty much it. Um, I was decided, well, I might go for Recover. I might have a chance to use this in the uh, the battle. I might need it. So I'll use Recover, and I'm going to use Roleplay on the Medicham with my Smeagol. So we've got the Gengar swapping out here because it is asleep, and the next Pokemon to come in is going to be a Bomber Snow. So that's, a, that's an annoying Pokemon as well. I might be able to see what they're doing here with this strategy. So I went for Roleplay. What Roleplay does is copy the uh, whatever Pokemon uh, targets ability and it's going to make it my own. So now my Smeagol is going to have pure power, which is exactly what I want. Medicham is going to go for a cover here, recovering its health. I had to focus Ash in there because I absolutely had to have Medicham lift this. And now we got a boom bursting x Sprout and a soundproof Abominus Snow there. So that is going to be the end of my Medicham. And now, people, it's time for the big, old, massive slaking. Let's get it.
right, people, let's have a look at what the team build was and quickly talk about that battle. I was holding that fling burn hill for the whole time. I seen that Gengar at the start and I really, really wanted to use it against it. But unfortunately, they swapped it out and only brought it back in at the end there. But it was great. It was perfect. And one shot at it. So this is the whole team build up here with the Smeagol obviously copying the Medicham's ability with pure power. Then I gave it to Slaking with skill swap. And then, you know, simply just normally would mentor off the field or use Spore. The other Pokemon was simply there to draw all the attention away from the Slaking with follow me some other support moves there we had a safeguard play there which was really good and it was very very nice actually getting the lagging tail from the furret onto the star raptor because that's a very very fast pokemon as well but that was pretty much the whole setup there and that's pretty much the entire uh well i guess you could say the panda trilogy all over Red Rover. They completely blocked me. They completely spat the dummy. And that's all she wrote. We may have another undercover coming up, but it'll be against another person, of course. Um, we won't be seeing Panda again after that triple spanking. But I really hope you enjoy this video and, of course, the whole uh, triple series. And I'll catch you for another one, hopefully, tomorrow. Peace out, people.